Hello Simmers, this is Lacey. I'm just bringing you my newest creation. It's called Willow Light Estate and it is sort of like a mini mansion. I guess you could call it. It's got five bedrooms, four bathrooms, a library, a dining room, a huge kitchen, a laundry room. It's just a huge house in general. This here is the front of the house. I have two little porch areas right off the side of the front door here one with the chairs over there and then here is a little water fountain but you can have whatever you want out there okay here's coming in the front doors and going right into the mass uh, the living room I'm sorry with a big fireplace beautiful sconces lots of beautiful curtains big rugs I love it it's beautiful over here is just a little sitting area where you can walk in the door, sit down, take your shoes off, hang your coat up. You know, there's a little desk there too if you need to sit down and like write down anything. Okay, there's the staircase. This is the hallway. Now we're going to go into the dining room here. Big dining room, big table with a a uh, nice big fireplace at the end there with the big painting over it. I love it. It says live, laugh, love. And I got a nice little china cabinet in there. Chandelier. I just love that dining room. Here's the kitchen. It's nice. It's big. It's bright, white, you know, very light. And I don't know why the ceiling shows up black there, but it's actually not black. I think it was just the way I took the picture. Maybe the color hadn't loaded up yet. I don't know. But it's just a white. Yeah, I like that. Except not the black. Okay, here's the library. It's right off of the kitchen area. Big library. Lots of space in here. for You know, you can add things if you want. There's a nice little computer there. Sitting area. There's a little, you know, chess table. Okay, this is the foyer area. It's right in the main hallway. Just a, you know, a little decorative place for you to have, you know, throw your keys, throw your sunglasses. That's what, you know, that's what I put it there for. Okay, here's the hallway downstairs. That's going off to the left into the kitchen. This is going off to the right into the master bedroom. As you'll see, beautiful master bedroom. I love it. I love the colors. It's kind of, you know, like darker, but I think it's just beautiful. I spent a lot of time detailing everything, you know, the little purse there in the corner. I mean, I spent a lot of time building and decorating this house just because of the details. That there was the uh, walk-in closet. Here's a little hallway off the master bedroom that goes off into a secret little work area. This is the master bathroom. Again, love it. Love the colors, white and black but still bright at the same time. Lots of windows. Uh, yeah, this is the little, um, the, you know, the tub and the shower, but it's kind of separate from the rest of the bathroom. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Okay, see how the toilet is back in the little corner by itself? I like it that way, to be honest. You know, not everybody wants to see people, you know, using the bathroom. Here's the little hallway that's going up you know, the little secret door and then going up into the, you know, master bedroom has its own little private studio area, I guess you could call it. You know, a little work room, computers, lots of books, lots of files. It's just a little work area, but, you know, only accessible by your sim with, through the secret door. This is the main floor bathroom. Just a basic bathroom. Okay, now we're going to go into the downstairs guest bedroom. It's just a simple, basic guest bedroom. You know, it's got a nice big bed in there. De or a, not a desk, I'm sorry. A dresser, a mirror. It's just your basic bedroom. This is coming out of the guest bedroom down the hallway. Around the corner here. Now, here's the front door. Now we're going to get, we're going to go upstairs. There's a three bedrooms upstairs, two bathrooms up here, um, a gym, a laundry room, and then of course, you know, you got the secret room, but you can't access it from upstairs. 
here's a small boy's room. I love it. It's just so blue and it's got its own walk-in closet, its own little study nook right there. I love having a study nook. And it does also connect to a bathroom that's connected to the other kids' room. There's two doors on either side of the rooms leading into this bathroom right here. Here is the teenage girl's room that's also on the other end of that bathroom. It also has a little study nook over there and a, its own walk-in closet. I love this room. It's so pink. It's so just like what I think, what I feel like a teenage girl would like. Here is the other guest bedroom. It's upstairs. It does not have a walk-in closet, but it does have its own private bathroom. And it does have a TV and a little couch in there, too. Now we're going into the bathroom, and I actually love this bathroom. It's actually really nice for just a guest bathroom. I love it. It's just the colors. I, I don't know. I just love it. Okay, now here's the laundry room. It's a huge laundry room, but I figure if you have a huge house, you're going to have a lot of people in it, and you're going to have a lot of laundry. Here's the gym. It's just a basic gym. Lots of mirrors on the wall. You know, I have a lot of ceiling fans in here. This is the back porch area off the second floor. Just a little back porch area. Lots of windows, and it does lead out onto an outdoor back porch area, which I did not put a grill out here, but you can if you want to. I did put a little table here. But like I said, if you want to build, you know, a outdoor dining area, go ahead, put a grill in if you want. Here's the back of the house. It's kind of, it looks kind of small, but like I said, the the pool there I just think is so beautiful. It actually extends underneath the house, and it looks like it goes all the way through, but it doesn't. There's actually mirrors on the back of the house there. It actually goes about halfway underneath the house, and it has lighting on the uh, on the ceiling too. I love it. Okay, here is the side of the house and the entrance into the garage here. It's a two-car garage. I didn't do much decorating in the garage, so you can feel free to do that if you want. I don't have fast lanes, so I don't have a whole lot of decorations for a garage. Yep, this is the side of the house. Here's some landscaping. I loved the landscaping I did with this house. It's just gorgeous. There's the um, side entrance into the garage, which there's also an entrance through the garage that leads into the house. Yep, here's the, just the front of the house, more landscaping, the stairs leading up to the front door. Beautiful house. I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you if you uh, love custom content, I gotta tell you, there's a lot of custom content in this house. So, if you don't like custom content, do not download this house. But if you do, you'll get all kinds of new, awesome content. So, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you love the house, you can download it on the Sims 3 Exchange. There will be a link in the description. And again, thank you for watching. Bye!